And into the frame comes Jimmy Shine, uh, the creator of uh, the Whiskey Runner. Well, yes, one of many. Of course, it comes from a wellspring of different people, one of which is Mr. Pete Chaporis from SoCal Speed Shop, uh, which I worked for for 20 years. So it's kind of a collective between Billy, Pete, and myself. And uh, the influences, where do they come from? Oh, well, you know, the influence... I think the, the, the lean of the windscreen tells you that this was probably influenced by the Bonneville Salt Flats racers, the great uh, racing cars on the lakes, the dry lakes. Uh, yeah. yeah, Bonneville Salt Flats. It's a dry lakes car with a heavy chop, uh, which all started pre-19, you know, pre-World War II. After the war, these guys came back, started doing, you know, early Ford such as this, heavy chops, big motors, land speed racing. So, does it have an engine? that uh, correspond with the exterior. You know what, it actually it does. It has a very rare pre-production 1946 Cadillac, 331 cubic inch. As far as we know, Billy owns one of two that we know of. One is in that car right now. I think it was uh, General Motors was experimenting with overhead valve and they wanted to make bigger motors, but in order to uh, prove it, they had to drive it. This engine made 200,000 miles and then was uh, rebuilt, went into a race car, stayed in California uh, until the time in which we uh, got it from uh, our dear, uh, uh, our mentor, Pete Chaforis. It's a very, very special piece in a very special car. Can we have a look? It's really kind of ugly right now. I just spent a couple months in a container. It was in England last year. It, the car's not done yet, uh -huh. so this is just kind of a, a quick glimpse of us having fun, figuring out colors and such, and Billy calling me in the middle of the night. It's like, I don't know, I'm thinking about a purple chassis. So we're still having fun with it, but it does run and drive. Used it in the ZZ Top video. I got to get paid. So this one is going to get the same uh, fame as the Illuminator, maybe? We think so. Maybe even bigger. It's on its way. I don't know how much you know about whatever I've done. No, I, I, I host TV shows on Discovery Channel. I've had a number of television shows. I race cars. I too am a race car driver. That picture up there, that's right when I came back from Bonneville. I, I've set six land speed world records all over 200 miles an hour. I've driven for Wayne Jessel. I've driven my own cars. I've built cars that have gone over 300. And then I get to do cars like that. This is my this is my niche. I'm a 20s, 30s, 40s car guy, and I like that history, that history, that post-war history. That was the whole inception, the beginning of the evolution of the hot rod. You know, these guys, and still to this day, it's the fastest racing venue over F1, anything, land speed racing. It's it's done at Bonneville. It's done on the dry lakes. It's done in Ohio, Texas, and also Lake Gardner. Uh, down in Australia, but to date it's still the fastest car racing in the world and it's done by backyard guys. And that's the purity, that's that's the purity, that's the soul, it's, it's your own imagination. You have to fit and build, there's a certain criteria for safety and such, but your, your, your visions, your mechanical aptitude, that's open to whatever you can design and engineer as long as it's safe. So chassis, suspensions, brakes, roll cages, harnesses, that's paramount. You have to have that. But the, but the geometry going into actually building the car, the different combinations you come up with, that's open to you. Right there, that's, that's the period. You look at NASCAR, you look at drag racing, you look at F1, Indy, all of that stuff. It's so regulated. The cars are almost identical. And it really comes down to driver skill to get those cars to win. And, and there's still a huge element of skill involved when you drive these cars on the dry lakes or the drag races, etc. But there's that purity to it. It's not only your driving ability, but your imagination. Same horsepower, same cubic inch, but to get that son bitch down the road, make a hit, and get a number. And don't crash. I've done that as well. Okay. We got lots of material for you. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Welcome to the United States. Oh, 
consumer. <laughs>